I saw the movie last night, and it's just ridiculous. It's so funny. <laughs> I mean, you just you don't you don't stop laughing from the time it starts to the time oh, it's finishes. It's nice great. To hear you. Now, think about you guys as writers. You guys have such a diverse, different background. You you come as an actor, and you came you actually educated at law school at Harvard. Right. How does that dynamic work for you guys? I mean, I think, at least as far as the acting goes, it, it helps in figuring out the character's dialogue. Um, you, you can tell what would work for an actor. Uh, you can anticipate yeah. if, if something would bump them. Uh, as far as law school goes, I win most of the arguments. Of course, because you, so, you're, 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 yeah. you're litigating, yeah. right? He, he deals with all of our contracts, too. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no, it was, I think uh, often in life you realize you're on the wrong path. And so for me, that was the law. And after two years working at a big firm in New York, I was just like, this is not the right thing. And I Brave quit. genius. I, I said, well, at the time, I said it'd be more fun to fail as a comedy writer than succeed as a lawyer. And That's so, I, you yeah. know, I, I worked for about 10 years in TV. John and I met on a show that he was acting on, I was writing on. And then in 2007, we wrote our first feature together. And uh, that got us our foot in the door. So. You know, um, you're working with these, these actors, which are great improv guys. Mm -hmm. Do you have these nightmares of script butchering? Because <laughs> you know what they're going to be. I mean, you can, <laughs> yes, yes, you do have those nightmares. But fortunately, uh, with these guys, you don't have to be worried too much because there's a reason why they're, you know, at the top of their game, uh, such amazing comedic talents. Oh, and that's because they can take material and, and make it funnier with, with their performances and, uh, and really making it their own voice. So we were just delighted to have all of them. And they were also very collaborative, I have to say. Like, uh, you know, you think Jim Carrey is going to just do what he wants to do, yeah. but we went to his house, we spent time going through his scenes and figuring out what he wanted to do and working on that together. So it was really satisfying creatively. The, uh, the topic of magic, it seems like the line between absurdity and reality is so, it's so thin, isn't yes. it? Absolutely. Yeah. We didn't have to exaggerate much with this movie. Right. Um, you, you see any of these shows on the strip, and they're about as big and broad as Burton Anton's show. That's why we were surprised there hasn't been a Vegas magician comedy till now. I agree. You know, it just feels like right After sitting it. through it, I thought to myself, why has no one ever done this before? There are going to be 30 more after this. Exactly. <laughs> we're glad that nobody did. So exactly. Your <laughs> first one's in. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the, the movie, like I said, was, was just, just incredibly hilarious. Now, you guys as writers had something that was that most other writers don't have to deal with. That's, that's that the, the tricks or the things that you put in the movie had to really work. Right. right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, you know, you can't actually debone a dove. I mean, you could, but it'd be cruel. <laughs> it'd be cruel. It wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> um, it would be funny to me, but... It was, it was the hardest thing in writing the script, without a doubt, yeah. coming up with yeah. these tricks. Because, yeah, they had to be doable within reason. They had to be original and they had to be kind of funny. And we spent hours and hours and hours, you know, devising these Literally, tricks. I think a, a full week of just coming up with maybe three tricks that hadn't been done before. Wow. Because um, you had to do that, too. You also had stuff in the movie that was... Was unique because right. the movie wouldn't have been the same if we were regurgitating exactly. some old tricks. Or just the same old tricks. The one that was really satisfying was the hangman illusion where they switch, you know, positions, yeah. and yeah. that was one where Copperfield came in and said, you know what, that's a great trick. I think I know a way we can do it without cutting, without any camera tricks. And so he figured out the way, and it's all one shot in the movie, which is kind of neat. Oh, and then there are the other tricks that you don't really want to see, like Manhead Lady Body, which the title in itself <laughs> is the joke, and. I, I don't know how you would pull off something like that. We At some point, we we had like a secret behind it, and it was an overly complicated answer to like mylar hoods and a oh series God. of pulleys and levers. Yeah, it should wind up in the movie. No. <laughs> Guys, once again, uh, just such a good movie. It's, it's That's great fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate yeah. it.